What is going on guys? It's your boy D1 Snipes here and today I'm bringing you guys uh, my guide to Crota's end final boss defeat Crota holy shit in total we probably spent now uh, me personally probably about 12 hours on him just alone and probably a total of like three tops and maybe maybe four so let's say four for the rest of the raid and 12 hours alone on Crota this boss fights fucking hard gentlemen fucking hard indeed and before we go any further shout out to the homies uh, too tough chef oily platypus Spicoli, Intensify, and Macintosh. Uh, we went through a lot of trial and error here. Um, this right here is what worked. Uh, this is what it finally came down to, and it worked beautifully. Uh, but it, this is also not without fault. We wiped several times doing this. Um, I counted it up. And between all the times that like we went back to orbit, went back to get sense, all that good shit, um, we had 104 attempts. 104 attempts. 104 attempts. That is out. That's fucking crazy. I can't even believe that we did that. I don't know why we did that. I don't know how the hell we didn't do it earlier. Uh, we did this with 431s. Uh, after we got to 431s, it only took us a handful of tries, but we had 331s to start with, and we just could not get it done uh, for whatever reason. Um, like I said, thank you to those guys. Big huge shout out to them. Uh, Chef, our 31 Titan, is the guy running the sword. Um, if you guys will notice, he's pretty aggressive with the sword. But to be completely honest, uh, you have to be. Uh, you have to get him before he's enraged or you guys are fucked. Um, geez, where do I even start with this? Um, Alright, let's go ahead and start talking about our strategy. So this will be a longer video, so hope you guys stick around. But I wanted to get that stuff out of the way. So, starting with our strategy, you have three go left, three go right, obviously, after you get on the stone. Um, I want to talk about this guide like you haven't done it, although I'm assuming most of you that watch this will have east, at least tried it. So you have three go left, three go right. Um, our strategy right here, we obviously had a 31 as your sword guy, so your sword guy's got to be a 31 almost. Um, I've seen groups of 30s do it. Uh, they're way more hard ass than me, so I give them props because I didn't fucking do it. Anyways, uh, I started off as a sword guy. Uh, it just wasn't working out. It's a lot easier to get up there with a titan, so we switched up to Shuff because I was a warlock. Alright, so you have three go left, three go right. Um, anybody that needs a chalice uh, goes down to the middle really quick. Um, your snipers, one on the left, one on the right. I work the right side, as you can obviously see. Uh, we had another 31 work the left, so you can two-shot the uh, boomers is what we call them. Um, and you just want to survive the first two rounds. Uh, the first round, you got to get two hits. Second round, you got to get two hits. Um, and then on the third round, ogre spawn, and everybody is supposed to come down here. Uh, you get underneath, have a titan pop his bubble, use weapons of light, and you can usually take these ogres out pretty quickly if you have the icebreakers. So you can just stun them over and over again, and they don't even really get a shot off. Um, but yeah, on the third round, and then after the, or no, in between the second and third round, and then in between the fourth and fifth round, you have to come down here and clear out ogres. Um, where to next? Um, okay, so you've cleared out the ogres. This is, we're going into our third round right here. Um, we've got a pretty good run on him, so we're being kind of careful. 
Um, one thing that you do want to do 100% is uh, the sword will despawn after you kill the sword guy. So have your snipers check, and you'll see me do this uh, later, right before we actually beat him. But we keep the sword guy up. Uh, we didn't kill him in the middle because I was telling my team that he hadn't moved. He was on the right. He's a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, watch out for these thralls if you're a sniper. Both ends on the left, right, and right side. It's easy to stay alive. Just don't get too aggressive. Um, you want to keep those boomers and those sword guys off uh, your sword guy because that's what had us wipe a lot, and that's what killed Shuff uh, a ton when we did that. So... Uh, with two, you can do this with one. I think we could have done it with one a couple times earlier, but we just had a, a couple mishaps and hiccups, and we just ended up losing. Uh, but it's it's pretty easy to do with two snipers, uh, even though it's doable with one. That's what we decided to do, uh, just in case he started to run. We could get shots into him, and Shuff could get a couple more hits into him before he moved to the right or left. Uh, it's a heck of a lot easier for him to jump straight through the middle than off to the side. Um, so you have your two snipers on the right and left, uh, working the boomers and the knights, that's their only responsibility. And then um, <clears throat> when the gatekeeper is down, or not the gatekeeper, when the sword guy goes down, I like to put the boomers at one shot until then, and then as soon as he says, okay, the gatekeeper is down, or fuck, the sword guy is down, that's when you pop two more shots, and then there's 15 seconds in between the respawn and usually that's long enough for your sword guy to get in and out of there uh, you may have to pop them and then stun them uh, in between that or like in between shots on crota but during those first 15 seconds if you keep the boomers off of him uh, it's pretty effective I think so anyway so moving on to your middle guys we had a titan 31 run the sword um, he did it every time. You have to have your sword guy take the chalice. Um, as you guys know, the chalice passed around. Uh, that revives your health. So, you have your sword guy. What we had him do, instead of going off to the left or the right, like you see a lot of teams do, uh, we had our guy go straight up the middle. Um, he just did the titan jump, and then you go right back to the platform where the chalice spawns, and then we told him to jump back up whenever. So he jumps just straight up in the middle, gets a couple hits, and then he gets away safely in most cases. Um, I think he had a flawless run right here. I don't think anyone went down. Somebody might have, but regardless. And then your three middle guys, all they're doing is DPS and Crota, and then helping the sword guy kill the other sword guy. Bad sword guy. So... <clears throat> this is the closest we've been. Actually, we've been to this point uh, probably four or five times. And we choked it. Either Shuff would miss a jump. Um, he, uh, we as snipers would miss and the boomers would kill him. Or Crota ran a lot. That's what also caused us to, to wipe a lot was that uh, Crota would just run after we killed the sword guy and then we couldn't get shots into him and he wouldn't go down so that was kind of shitty and just bad luck you do have to be a little bit lucky but with good communication um, this is this is the way to do it uh, I thought Atheon or yeah I thought the Atheon fight was hard and took a lot of communication and a lot of teamwork but this one this one takes the cake. Crota's raid is, uh, I love how the Vault of Glass is set up. I think it presents a lot of different challenges, and I think I'll talk about that in another video. But uh, this raid requires your whole team to just be on point and know exactly what everyone else is doing, and that's why I love it. Um, right here, I don't think I went back up because he was one shot, and we didn't want to wipe and get the oversoul so we all decided to stay down in the middle to DPS the uh, sword guy and then try and get croated down before he ran away so that's what we ended up doing uh, right here you're gonna see us beat him and like I said he's one shot and rage is near had we not got him on this jump up right here or like to put him down a second time uh, we would have gotten raged, and there you go. We beat him, 104th try. That's our lucky one. 
Got the cryptograph, the crowd is in, the emblem. Uh, I briefly show them to you here, but I look at the stats a little bit more in depth and a little bit slower um, later on. We were a little bit excited. Um, so I hope this got this helped you out guys um, if it did please leave a like uh, below if you guys have a different strategy that you think is more effective uh, comment below let me know um, I'd really like to hear them I want to see how fast we can get this done if there's a more effective way to get it done uh, this is, we tried everything we could think of and this is what we ended up doing to make it work um, I know a couple guys got the black hammer sniper uh, it's pretty badass, I guess. Uh, even better than the icebreaker. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. The sword breaker uh, is right here at the end. I give you a little bit better look at the um, <clears throat> at the shader and the emblem. And yeah, that's about all I got for you today, guys. Um, probably be doing a couple more guides here shortly, and uh, hopefully some rep weapon reviews for you soon. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.